to Canadians everywhere. Peter McKay always predicted he'd never stray far from politics. One thing I did learn from Joshua Ray is you never say never. Uh, you never close doors. That was all the way back in 2001, before he ran for the leadership of the then Progressive Conservative Party of Canada. What a night. <laughs> he won that race in 2003, but it was a brief leadership. By the end of the year, the PC party merged with the Canadian Alliance, led by Stephen Harper. Though some of McKay's colleagues claimed he betrayed them, McKay insisted that wasn't the case. It's the policy and it's the people and the direction that this new party will take that I believe will convince those who have their reservations that this is progress. McKay didn't challenge Harper for the leadership of the newly merged party. Mr. Peter Gordon McKay. When the party came to power in 2006, McKay began a ministerial career that would see him lead significant portfolios, foreign affairs, defense, and justice. McKay was first elected in 1997 in the same riding once held by his father. Elmer McKay was a senior minister under former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. I didn't grow up with a burning desire to be a politician. I mean, I was around politics. Yeah. Um, I had vicarious experience through my father. And now Peter McKay has come back to politics after a five-year absence. His message? A progressive one. People need to see themselves in this party. It needs to modernize. We have to have a comprehensive plan for the environment. It's not enough to just say we'll get rid of the carbon tax. We have to say what we'll do to address escalating greenhouse gas emissions. And we have to reach out to younger generation. I am pro-choice. I'm for equal marriage. I am willing to march in a parade. But people want to talk about the economy. Whether that will resonate with Tory members, well, McKay will find out soon. Vashi Capello, CBC News, Ottawa.